President Donald Ramatar on Tuesday wrote to Speaker of the National Assembly, Raphael Trotman, to advise he is withholding his assent to the Fiscal Management and Accountability Amendment Act and the former President Benefits and Other Facilities Amendment Act, which were passed by Parliament without the input of the government. Trotman had written to the President on May 3rd inquiring about the two pieces of legislation which he said was sent to the head of state since February of this year. In two letters to Trotman on Tuesday, the President chronicled the defects of the two bills which he said were unconstitutional. President Ramatar in his letter on the Fiscal Management and Accountability Amendment Act said it was in violation of Article 1712 of the Constitution, Chapter 101, since such cannot be introduced into the National Assembly by a private member, hence can only be introduced with the consent of Cabinet signified by a minister. Additionally, Sections 82 of the Fiscal Management and Accountability Act, Chapter 7302 states that a minister may by order amend the schedule and it is therefore wrong to amend the schedule by an act of parliament. Mr. Ramatar indicated to the Speaker that Greenwich's attempt to change the schedule of the FME was done using the wrong format in that such a change cannot be done through an act of parliament. As it relates to the amendments to the former President Benefits and Other Facilities Bill, President Ramatar said it is a violative of the Constitution and as such is null void and of no effect. The President adopted a position that such a proposal is in violation of former President's constitutional right to work. The President officially received the amendment to the FME on Friday last. These same bills can only be passed again in Parliament if it receives a two-third majority. President Donald Ramatar since last year made clear he will not assent the bills passed by Parliament which did not receive the input of his government and which sought to violate the Constitution. Kurt Campbell, NCN News.